Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Boss Championship Racing. And here we are for the 2024 IndyCar Tournament. We've had an amazing turnout with 53 cars from all over the world are here at Lutzen International. As many of you know, I am Nils Nilsson here. I always wear this nice blue shirt. But to my left, joining our team is the legend Donnie McFadden. Welcome to the team, Donnie. Thanks, Nils. This is a really cool opportunity, and I'm just happy to be here. You've got a lot of experience in the die-cast racing world, so we're excited to have you with us, Donnie. Well, today we've got highlights from our qualifying session. Each driver was given a warm-up lap and then two qualifying laps. The quicker time would then be counted as their official qualifying time. And here we can see Arlo from Arlo Racing putting in a 11.5928. Drivers and teams were able to add weight and modify their cars for this tournament. Well, oh, here's Rory from the United Kingdom in the green number 44, putting in a great time. Next up, we have Jills Magnus from the Belcast family, all the way from Belgium. So how much weight could be put into the cars? Great question. Total weight could be up to 45 grams. And we found that actually it's more about balance on the track and not so much who's got the heaviest car. So. Sounds like you gotta know how to drive. Yeah. Right. Well, Stray Dog puts in a 10.7041. Great time for Stray Dog. You know, I'm just pointing out the obvious. Yep, and that's why you're on the team. So next up is Giorgio from GeForce Racing. Giorgio in the Coke livery puts in a 10.7845. Well, we're very excited with the new section of track here. It is proving to be a very difficult and technical section, and so some of the cars had some trouble with it. And one in particular from Alaska, J-Man in the number 94 from Three Ravens Racing, was unable to qualify due to stalling out both laps. I guess it's not for everybody. Well, we had 53 cars, 52 qualified, and your top qualifier from Uncle Elvis is Ralphus Hayes with an absolute screaming lap of a 10.4964 lap time. Wow, that's impressive. So here are the qualifying results. The top 12 will move into the second round automatically of the tournament. Well, Donnie, who impressed you and maybe who didn't impress you today? Well, I gotta say, Feral Mods had two cars in the top four, second and fourth, so they're definitely gonna be ones to watch. And I was a little disappointed with Arlo Racing and uh, Crazy Canuck. I thought they would for sure be towards the top of the pile, but it'll be interesting for sure. Yeah, that's a good take. And I mean, we've got a lot of racing to go. We've got a lot of cars from some of the best teams in the world. So stay tuned, everybody. Make sure to hit subscribe. And racing is coming up next. I think that went pretty well. I was a little nervous, but... Yeah, don't think about it too much, right? I mean, you're like the Donnie McFadden. You should be like most confident.